We got something. No bait, just the lure. Just my, uh, just my um, dump rig. The double uh, blade version. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Brown. Back trolling. File hook though. Nice bull. Nice bull, Brim. Nice bull. I'm not keeping. So let him go. You need him to breed for spring. I bought this motor from some fellas at Backwoods Landing in Decatur, Alabama. Just, just outside of Huntsville, really. Good guys. Uh, good guys. And he mentioned... He went through the break-in process. Tohatsu has a very specific break-in process, but they took care of the first part of it for me, which is you know idling for ten minutes, just idling. And I, I think they have to take it out of the box, hook it up, put some gas in it, let it run in their tank or whatever, and. Um, let it run for 10 or 15 minutes just to make sure the engine is running well and nothing's wrong with it or defective with it. Back trolling like that helped break in the motor. Uh, the fellas at Backwoods told me that uh, these, these Tohatsus aren't meant for tons and tons of trolling. So that's why I kept bumping the throttle some, but... You do some trolling with it and just run it, run it out. The motors are meant to just go, man. But uh, I'm happy to see we can do it. The, the problem with the tie long tails, I can never really do any proper trolling. And that was always concerning to me. But now we've got a piece of equipment that's gonna get me, get, help me get the job done. Uh, yeah, this is a blessing, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. This couldn't have asked for anything better. break-in process. The break-in process is broken down into one, two, three, four, five parts. The first part is uh, idling for 10 minutes. Second part, from 10 minutes to two hours, you keep it at half throttle, less than half throttle, and <clears throat> about three RPM, 3,000 RPM or less. I didn't buy a tachometer or anything. I just approximated it, and it's been doing fine. And from two to three hours, you can run it at uh, three quarter, less than three quarters throttle. And you can get it up to max throttle for about a minute for every 10 minutes that you're riding. And that's, uh, and that's neat. And then the longest is from three quarters throttle. Uh, you can run it at three quarters throttle. That's going to take three to 10 hours. That's going to take a good bit of time. talking just 
I am a minimalist in terms of fishing and um, the boat's light. It's actually a heavy, well, it's a light boat, heavier than your average John boat, but uh, it's, it's only me plus my gear and I don't haul a lot of gear, just a hand line. Left my cell phone at home because <laughs> Oh, I left it in the, uh, yeah, I left it at home and didn't bring it, to, uh, I left it in the Jeep and didn't bring it on the boat so I could see, you know, what speeds were and, and all that kind of thing. But it's fast. It's fast. I mean, half throttle, I'm up on a plane. It's just, and no, you know, and, you know, so if it's half throttle, I mean, you're about 10 horsepower. Yeah, that's about right. If you look at the weight I'm hauling, 10 horsepower should be just enough to get you <clears throat> excuse me, begin to get you up on a plane. Begin to get the nose up and down and start running.